Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to add a button in Excel to the cell right-click menu, this menu here, using VVA macros, because you cannot actually do that manually. And to, to give you an example, I'm going to show you one of my add-ins, which is the date picker, and you can download that from my blog. I'm going to leave the link in the description. So if you add it, as you see, my add-in is adding here a button to the menu which says date picker where I can instantly launch the date picker so I can select the date and add it to any cell. So that's very practical and it's very quick. And that's just an example of how we can use the buttons here. So let's see how to do that. I'm going to go to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a module as usual and let's call it add item to cell menu for example and again this is the cell right click menu it's also known as context menu and we can call it cell menu and here we need to target the command bar object so i'm going to declare a variable i'll call it cmd bar for example as a command bar there you go and then we're going to have a CMD button as a command bar button. You see here we have several options, the command bar, the command bar button. We can also add a combo box, controls, uh, pop-ups, and several other things. We're going to start with a button here. And then we're going to set the CMD bar, so the command bar variable, as and that's, of course, a property of the application object, command bars, and we're going to add specifically um, the cell bar or the cell menu. And we could actually use also the index instead of the word, that's index number 35. And we can target other bars with the respective index. For example, the worksheet bar uh, or, the, or the ribbon, that's number one. Uh, so number 35 is the cell menu. I think I'm going to put cell so that is clear. And now that we have defined the cell bar and we have put that into a variable, we can use that variable to add a button and we're going to use that variable that we just defined. And here we're going to refer to that CMD bar, to that cell bar, dot controls, dot add. And the type of control that we want to add is a button, so MSO control button. And um, as you see here, we have other parameters, um, the ID, the term, and what we want to target is also the, the parameter before. We want to add it before um, the first item or the first button. So that will place it at the top of the cell menu. If you don't specify the this parameter, it will actually place it at the button. And if you want to place it in a specific position, you just have to count how many uh, before how many items you want to put it. So this will actually add a button to the bar. And now with our button, we need to give it a name or actually a caption. So with the button dot caption, and this is you can write here wherever wherever you want so this is my button but actually my button needs to do something right so to do that we use the on action and on action is going to run any other macro so let's say my macro one and of course we we need to have my macro one somewhere let's say down here i have my macro one and for now let's just display a message that says uh, this is my macro one or whatever but this could actually be uh, a real uh, macro for example like in the example i showed you before it was actually launching the date picker it was launching a user form with the calendar days to pick a date right so but just for demonstration purposes here, we're going to display a message. Now, the other thing we may want to, to add together with the, with the caption is actually an icon. If you see here, 
every um, every button here or every item has an icon associated, right? So we also want to have an icon um, associated with our button. So to do that, we need to use the face ID property. And you can see the full list of face ID icons in my blog. I'm going to leave the link in the description for you. And as you see, there are hundreds, no, not hundreds, thousands of icons here. Um, so here you see all the icons with the index. So what you need is just to pick the one you like or the one that fits your button, right? And then uh, use that index. So I'm going to use something very simple. Uh, for example, this smiley face here with the number 59. So we come back here and say face ID equals 59. Then we have to end the with statement here. And if I run this macro now, and I come back to my worksheet, you see we have got our new button here. This is my button with the smiley face. If I click the button, we are running that macro. Now, if we want to delete that button, uh, let's say down here, I'm going to say delete button uh, from cell menu. We need to target the command bars object for the cell menu and then refer to that specific uh, name, that specific button by the name that we gave. This is my button and delete. So if I run this piece of this line of code, it would actually delete uh, the button that we added okay now there's another thing we can do here we can add a sub menu inside this cell menu something like what we have here for filter or for sort right that's a sub menu and then inside of this one we have other buttons that's actually called a pop-up so if we want to do that i'm actually going to copy this because it's going to be very similar but i'm going to put that in another module so now instead of add items to cell menu, um, we're going to call it add pop-up. And on top of uh, the button, or we're going to need something. And I'm going to call it the pop, pop-up. As, and as you see here, we have a command bar pop-up. So now this is going to be the same. So our command bar for the cell menu is going to stay the same. But now instead of uh, a button, we're going to add a pop-up. So I'm just going to copy, paste this one up here. And for our command bar controls, now we're going to add, instead of a control button, we're going to add a control pop-up. Uh, and again, before uh, one, so that will be at the top. And we're going to call this CMD pop-up. Now, with the CMD pop-up, we're going to change uh, the caption. And this is, um, yeah, whatever you want to add. Let's say my pop-up. Why not? And now we can add um, buttons inside this pop-up in the same way that we did before. So we can actually reuse this code. The only thing we need to change is instead of CMD bar, now here we have to refer to CMD pop-up. So this will add the button inside of the pop-up. And we can add as many as many buttons as we as we want. We just need to repeat this operation. Now I'm gonna actually copy paste this, but you could also put it in a loop, uh, changing of course the name for the button. So this is gonna add another button here before um, and it doesn't really matter here anymore because 
is uh, is inside of that pop-up or of that sub menu. So it's even if we remove this here, it's gonna be um, it's gonna the first button is gonna be the only button there. The second button is gonna be below that one. So let's say this is my um, macro one and this is my macro two, right? So let's call it two, two. And this is a smiley face. And this is going to be, um, let's see what other icon we're going to have here. Let's have this sad face here, 276. And it's going to call my macro 2. We don't have my macro 2, but um, let's just add it here, my macro 2. Again, for simplicity, I'm just going to say, we ju we're just going to display this message right now. If I go back to module two and we l we run this macro now, this other macro, you will see. I have run it already. You see if I come here now, we get a sub menu or a pop up. You see here is called my pop up, as we said, and inside we have the two buttons with the happy face and the sad face. And of course, if we click the buttons, it's going to run uh, the macro. So that's how we add buttons to the cell menu bar in Excel using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.